Hey guys, it's Renata. So today on the channel, we're starting a brand new series where you can literally ask me anything. And I mean anything in terms of food and nutrition. So if you're on this channel, you know that I love to share healthy recipe ideas. I love to share healthy recipes on my blog. And I'm also an online nutrition coach. I get questions all the time from people asking, what can I do to eat healthier? And so I thought it would be really fun to share my answers to some of those questions here on the YouTube channel. A couple of weeks ago, I posted on my Instagram, which you should definitely check out, what are you struggling with when it comes to food and nutrition? And I got some amazing questions back. So I wanted to answer some of them here in a little bit more detail than I can on a post. So the first question is, can I drink alcohol and still be healthy? This is such a great question. And the short answer is yes, you absolutely can drink alcohol and still be healthy if drinking alcohol is something that you wanna do. But it's important to note if you find that you're overindulging in alcohol or maybe there's some bad habits like you eat some junk food or bar food a lot when you go out drinking, then I have a three-step method to think about when you are wanting to go and drink a little bit of alcohol. It is the WHW method. It is thinking about what you're drinking, how much you're drinking, and your why. So the first W, what are you drinking? Now, it's really important to note when you go out drinking with your friends, it's so fun to order mixed drinks because there's such cool ingredients in it and it tastes amazing, but you have to also think about what is in the mixed drink. Usually they add fruit juices or simple syrups. Simple syrups are basically a mixture of water and sugar to obviously sweeten the drink. But if it's getting sweetened with sugar, there are additional calories in that drink. So if you wanna reduce your calorie intake for weight loss purposes, then think about whether or not a mixed drink is right for you. Another good rule of thumb is if it's a lighter or clearer colored drink, it likely has less calories. So let's think about beer versus vodka. Beer has about 154 calories per can, whereas vodka has about 97 calories per shot. So you're looking at a decrease in the number of calories and usually, hopefully, you're mixing your vodka with water or with delta water. So you still feel like you're getting a good sized drink and not necessarily that you are missing out when everybody else is still sipping on their beer. So be really mindful around how many calories are in a serving of alcohol that you choose to have when you're out or when you're at home or at a friend's house. So the H, how much are you drinking? It's important to note what the recommendation is for women and men because it does differ when it comes to alcoholic beverages. For women, they recommend about one alcoholic serving and for men, they recommend two alcoholic servings. But also remember that for different kinds of alcohol, there are different volumes of alcohol in one serving. So if you like wine, one serving is five ounces. And if you like beer, one serving is 12 ounces. So be really mindful and do a little research on the type of alcohol that you'd like to drink and what an actual serving size is. Because if you have a heavy pour or you feel like you keep topping up your drink, you're likely going over your serving size recommendation. Now, the last W is your why. It's really important to think about why you wanna live a healthier lifestyle. And when it comes to this, think about it in terms of a short-term goal versus a long-term goal. So are you going out drinking tonight with your friends because you're celebrating your birthday and it's okay because you've been really, really good up until your birthday and you wanna just have a couple more drinks? Or are you thinking about your long-term goals, such as you wanna lose 50 pounds in the next six months and you really wanna see this change in your body because you feel amazing, you have so much more energy and you know that you don't wanna overindulge because you don't wanna derail your progress. It's really important to think about your why before you go out drinking, before you start drinking at home or at a friend's house because when we get into these social interactions, it's so easy to forget about why we're even on a healthy lifestyle journey anyway. So make sure you think about that and be really mindful, be really committed to your why because it's so easy when you're out with other people for them to ask you questions and you just wanna not rock the boat so you just wanna do whatever they wanna do. But if you're really committed to living a healthier lifestyle, get in touch with your why, be committed to it and don't worry about what anybody else says or what anybody else thinks. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions that you'd love for me to answer in a future video, leave it in the comments. I'm so interested to see what your questions are. Okay, have a great day, guys, and I will see you soon. Bye.